Now if this compound is treated with AlCl3, we have two possibility. We can generate two carbocation. Either we can take Cl- minus from here or we can take Cl- minus from here. So if I take Cl- minus from here, we will generate this carbocation. Now if I take Cl- minus from here, we will generate this carbocation. Now the question is which carbocation will be formed? So either 1 or 2. will be formed mainly. Now this can be decided on the basis of a stability of carbocation. This is a 3 degree carbocation. And this one is 2 degree carbocation. So this carbocation is more stable. So in this case, one will be formed as major carbocation. So one is the major carbocation. Now let us try this one. Now if this compound is treated with AlCl3, we have two possibility. Either we can remove this Cl- minus to generate this carbocation. Let us call this as 1. Or we can remove this Cl- minus to generate this carbocation. Now let us call this as 2. And inorganic product we will have AlCl4 minus. In this case also we will have inorganic product AlCl4 minus. So you have to answer which carbocation will be formed mainly. So either carbocation 1 or carbocation 2 is the major product. And answer is again on the basis of a stability of carbocation. This is benzyl carbocation. This is resonance stabilized. But this carbocation is not resonance stabilized. So in this case we can write resonating as structures. So there are many possible resonating as structures we have. So these are the resonating structures that is possible for this carbocation. We can write one more resonating structure. Another resonating structure is also possible. So benzyl carbocation is resonance stabilized but this carbocation that is phenyl carbocation is not resonance stabilized. So one is more stable. Now let us try this problem. So once again we have the same question 
RDI is same. Now this compound is treated with ALCL3. It can produce two carbocation. If I remove this Cl, we will have a phenyl carbocation. Or we can remove this Cl. We will have a selenium ion. Let us call this is one, and this is two. So which is major? So either one or two. So you have to decide major carbocation. Now in case of two, we have resonance stabilization. So this group goes here lone pair. So we can write another resonating as structure for this carbocation. And this resonating as structure is very stable because octet of each atom is complete in this case. So octet of each atom is complete. So in this case, so if I write this resonating as structure, Octet of each atom is complete. And this resonating structure is very stable. So in this case, mainly we will generate this carbocation. This carbocation is not resonance stabilized because this plus charge is on sp2 carbon and this is phenyl ring, this carbocation is not resonance stabilized. If you see, see the structure, this positive charge is basically in sp2 carbon. So this is not resonance stabilized. So this lobe is sp2 lobe. So in this case, we will have mainly two as major product. So two is the major carbocation formed. Now let us try this problem. Once again, we have two possibility. So if I treat this compound with AlCl3, we can form two carbocation. So if I remove this Cl, we will have this carbocation. And if I remove this Cl, we will have this carbocation. Let us call this is 1 and this is 2. Which carbocation will be formed? So you have to decide. Now you see, this carbocation is allylic carbocation. So this is resonance stabilized. So there is a resonance stabilization. But there is no resonance stabilization for this carbocation. Because in this case positive charge is not resonance stabilized by the double bond. This is less stable. So mainly carbocation 1 will be formed. So major carbocation formed is 1. Now let us try this problem.
now we have two double bond one double bond we have here another double bond we have here now if I treat this compound with one mole of H plus what will be the product and product is a carbocation so you have to decide the structure of carbocation formed now once again we have two possibility we can attack on this double bond or we can attack on this double bond so if I add H plus on this double bond we will have a 3 degree carbocation so H plus is going on this carbon now if I attack H plus on this double bond we will have a 2 degree carbocation so in this case we are having a 2 degree carbocation and in this case we are having a 3 degree carbocation so this carbocation is the major carbocation formed in this case so if I treat this compound with H plus and H plus is 1 mole we will have mainly this product now let us try this problem what will be the product if this compound is treated with a strong acid HClO4 so what is the product and product is a aromatic salt once again HClO4 will donate H plus and ClO4 minus now lone pair of oxygen will accept a hydrogen plus ion to generate a good leaving group in the next step we can lose H2O so finally we have a carbocation and this carbocation is very stable because this is aromatic so this is a aromatic carbocation very stable we can show delocalization for this carbocation so there are three resonating structures possible so this carbocation is highly stabilized by the resonance stabilized by resonance so finally we will have a aromatic salt we have this carbocation and ClO4 minus in the mixture because ClO minus ClO4 minus is free so this is a aromatic salt this is something like Na plus Cl minus so this is equivalent to Na plus and this is equivalent to Cl minus so this is an inorganic salt and this is an organic salt and a special case of organic salt in which cation is aromatic so we call this as a aromatic salt so in this case we will get a aromatic salt as a product
Now let us try this problem. If I have this compound, Now, if this is treated with AlCl3, which chlorine will be abstracted? Either this chlorine, let us call this as A, and this chlorine, let us call this as B. Which chlorine will be abstracted by AlCl3? So, question is, which Cl, either A or B, will be abstracted? And this is easy to answer. If I abstract this chlorine, the acylenium ion formed is more stabilized because OCH3 group is electron donating group and NO2 group is electron withdrawing group. So, carbocation formed here that is acylenium ion will be less stabilized. So, in this case, mainly we will have this carbocation formed because of OCH3 group is electron donating group. So, mainly chlorine B will be abstracted. So, in this tutorial, we discussed which carbocation will be formed if some compound is treated with AlCl3 and idea is very similar to a stability of carbocation. So, you have to form the carbocation and check whether the compound or carbocation formed is a stable or not.